went from working as a scientist, researching how the brain works, to working as a corporate consultant. Now he's leading a manufacturing organization in Northeast Ohio that primarily helps family-owned businesses figure out how to grow. Check out this week's story. So, I, from a young age, wanted to cure something. I wanted to help a lot of people. And so I went into science because that's where big vaccinations come from. That's where big things happen. And I love science and I did love science. And I got to the pinnacle of science and realized that there are so many brilliant people working in that field that at the end of the day, it's a little bit luck who's searching in the right place. So I said, I want to make my mark and try and help people. And I thought maybe business would be the place to try that out. McKinsey is an amazing place. What I was doing there and what they do is work on the world's most challenging problems. And a lot of them have to do with helping people like solving polio in Africa. What I wanted to do though is every single day go in and feel that I was making that impact on a community. And so that's what I found at Magnet, the ability to go in and help these small family owned manufacturers figure out how to grow their jobs, increase their livelihoods, and open the door to the middle class with all of those new jobs that they've just added to their facility. That's where I found passion and that's why I wanted to come to Magnet. As a consultant and as the folks on our team, the growth advisors with decades of experience in manufacturing do every single day, they go out and they advise CEOs. Now, becoming a CEO, you realize, I think, the biggest challenge is you're not advising someone, you're actually setting the tone of the organization, particularly in culture. Culture and the way people feel about the organization, the excitement that they have for their jobs, and really the passion they put forth every single day is a huge part due to what I do as a CEO, and I take that really seriously, and it's a big challenge. My piece of advice is to follow and find the thing that you're passionate about. I didn't know what I was passionate about in this, but by following it and using all of the things that I've learned along the way to be able to do the thing that I'm passionate about, I was able to reinvent. It's a very winding road to get there, but you've got to remember that all of those things that you might be doing today might be just what you need to be able to reinvent and explore that passion in the future.